right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hope of the elect. Hey, today we're just going to be going into prophecy. You know, um, I'm just going to get right into it. This is 2nd Edges 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see, and the, um, the signs which he had told uh, going back to Matthew uh, 24. You see, when the disciples was inquiring uh, when will be the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, uh, he told them of uh, false prophets, you know, uh, uh, wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, earthquakes, and we see seeing all these things take place. But the topic of this is uh, the wars and rumors of war, you know, the build up to World War III. It's like, yep, the build up until World War III. We seeing how the BRICS nation is building up with more and more allies. And you see, you have the NATO and the EU. You see, and in America, they just uh, did a deal with Japan and, and South Korea. But you have BRICS nation, they they, they getting a, a gang of people, man. You even have America on allies, they, they're going to turn on America. You see, but these are the times we're in. That's why when the Lord said, when thou uh, see these things come to pass, that's how we know the time that we're in. And I got this article right here. It says, a new world order. BRICS just agreed to welcome Saudi Arabia, Iran, Ethiopia, Egypt, Argentina, and the United Arab Emirates. Why that's not exactly good news for the U.S.? Because guess what? Ultimately, it's going to lead into America being destroyed, being destroyed by the way of those nuclear missiles by these russians man and their allies it says the BRICS bloc has agreed to admit saudi arabia iran ethiopia egypt argentina and the united arab emirates to its ranks adding fuel to the fire of a new world order according to russia president vladimir putin it says the six new candidates will formally become BRICS members alongside Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa on January the 1st, 2024. You see? Hey, this is beautiful, man. This is Yahweh by Hashem al Hey, he's setting the stages uh, for World War III, man. Armageddon, that great uh, battle which our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to return in the midst of and America is going to be wiped off the face of the earth. The elect will be delivered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and you Edomites are going in, in the chains, man. You're going to jail. You see? You're going to be uh, eternal slaves. And once you serve your slavery, you're going to be um, wiped off the face of the earth, man. And the other heathens, they're going to get their lands back. But you Edomites, you're going to serve your thousand years and then get, get burned off the face of the earth. But this is prophecy going into... Um, Right here. Ezekiel 38. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 1. And it says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against them. You see? And it says, Set thy face against Gog and Magog, those are the Russians today. It said the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, which are um, uh, two Salakia. Yeah, Salakia. Um, verse two again, it says, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land, Salakia. Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against them. 
and um, Gog and Magog, that is the Russians today. They say the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Meshach and Tubal are two areas in um, modern day Turkey today. Um, continuing on, it says, And say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. You see, yeah, the Lord, he got the spirit on those Russians. You see, the, the brain war and to uh, destroy America. But ultimately, Yahweh by Hashem al Shai is against them as well. You see, you're not getting away scotch free just because you're going to wipe America off the face of the earth. The Lord is going to use you to wipe America off the face of the earth and you're going to be judged as well. Verse 4 And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And, and turning them back, putting those hooks in their jaws, hey, that's the Lord, and hey, he putting the spirit on them, putting that warrior spirit back on them. Because for a while, America had that power. You know, Russia wasn't being talked about. You know, he putting that spirit back on like the, the Soviet Union. And it says, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers, and shields, all of them handling swords. And you see how uh, the bricks is building up. You see Russia, uh, they went and paid off, a, um, uh, forgave a lot of debt to those African countries. And now they're providing them with weapons, you know, for their natural resources. And they are kicking uh, the Americans out the, out, the, out the deal, man. They don't want shit to do with America no more. They're dealing with Russia, you see. That's why I say clothed with all sorts of armor. That's why you got them Russians, they supplying them with the um with the weapons. That's why I say they're gonna be all together in their in their armor, buckler, shields, handling swords. It says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Persia, which would be Iran today, Ethiopia, and Libya, those are African countries. He said, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. And when you look up Libya, they tell you how it's, a, it's an African country, but they say they speak Arab. You see, they're going into those uh, united, like I said, um, united Arab imageries, you see. But Ethiopia, all hey, those African countries, man, hey, that's the Lord. It says, Gomar. And all his bands and the house of Togomar of, of the north quarter. Gomar, that would be Turkish today. And it says, and all his bands and many people with them. It says, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. And be thou a guard unto them. And that's what Russia has done. He went over there. He paid off their debt. He's, he's supplying them with weapons. And hey, that's him being a guard unto them. You see, uh, also with Iran. They supplying each other with weapons. And you see America, they, they, um, they're they picking with, um, you know, Iran. Hey, Russia going to stand up and, and going to back them. And, and the scripture tell you in 2nd Edges, the 15th chapter, how um, the Carmanians are going to waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians, going into how those Iranians, they're going to shoot those missiles also over here in America, man. You see? Continuing on. Nope, that's the point. But um, verse 7 again, it says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, Thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. And that's what they're doing. They're being a guard. And then ultimately, it's going to lead up into World War III, man, in which America will be wiped off the face of the earth by the way of these Russians. You see? I ain't want to make it too long. I'm going to close it out right here. This is uh, Luke 21. In verse... 28 and it says and when these things began to come to pass then look up and and lift up your heads for your redemption draw up nigh 
and this is um going to um the same time when the um the disciples was inquiring of the um our Lord Yahweh shall return. And he gave them all uh, the list of the uh, things to look for. And the Lord said, when you start seeing these things to come to pass, then look, look up and lift up your head for your redemption draw of nine. Hey, our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. You see? So a hey, destruction is even nearer, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters, straight to the point. I'm going to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadas. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn this truth from. And I want to say shout out to the hopefully elect.